earthquakes, when Mother Nature strikes and shows its power to humanity. There has been a clear increase globally over the past decade or so. Earthquakes are associated with the tectonic plates when they come into contact with each other. So, the regions located on the boundaries of these plates are much more vulnerable, such as those surrounding the Pacific Plate, known as the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is seismically so active, it generates 80% of the world's earthquakes. Unfortunately, New Zealand is one of those countries vulnerable to severe earthquakes because of its location in this Ring of Fire. I grew up in Iran and myself experienced two devastating earthquakes during my childhood and adulthood. What I observed from those events was one of the motivations for me to study civil engineering, so that I would be able to know more about this natural phenomenon and help with the design of buildings better able to resist these forces. Learning more about earthquake engineering and design of structures through more than 12 years of study and research eventually triggered an idea in my mind which could improve building resistance against earthquake and minimize damage. There are two key characteristics that need to be provided for a structure to be able to resist the earthquake loads with minimum damage. Firstly, damping in order to dissipate the earthquake energy and secondly, self-centering to restore the structure to its original position after the earthquake and prevent the residual drift that may end up demolishing the whole building. My team have developed a novel resilient slip friction joint branded as RSFJ in which the components are formed and arranged so that the self-centering capacity is achieved as well as damping all in one connection system without yielding of any components. Here we have the prototype sample. The outer cap plates and the center slotted plates are grooved and clamped together by use of high strength bolts. When the imposed force to the joint overcomes the frictional resistance between the surfaces, the center slotted plates start to slide and energy will be dissipated through cycles of sliding. The angle of the grooves is designed in such a way that at the time of unloading, the reversing force induced by the elastically compacted disc springs is larger than the resisting friction force acting between the plate surfaces. Therefore, the system is recentered by the reversing force upon unloading. Conventional seismic solutions are established based on high damage concepts, where the structure experiences significant level of damage to dissipate earthquake energy. During recent years, improvements in seismic design have resulted in new low damage concepts where the damage is controlled and limited to sacrificial fuses in the structure to be replaceable after severe events. This RCFJ technology could provide a damage avoidance solution as the third generation due to its no post-event maintenance. Therefore, buildings could be reoccupied quickly with minimal business interruption and repair costs. Because there is no need for replacement of the RCFJ after an earthquake, the occupants and the structure are protected in the following aftershocks as well. An additional feature is that the RCFJ can also be used for structural health monitoring purposes. The initial research and development was supported by the Earthquake Commission of New Zealand. We tested a large scale shear wall and the results were promising. Given all these advantages, this new cost efficient technology could become a market changing seismic solution. It has the power to improve building resilience and save lives.